welcome to the Craft Stash Live broadcast. I'm Jeanette Lane, and I'm here with Christina Griffiths Hi. and Lou Collins. Hi. Today is a very special, bittersweet um, live broadcast. It's my live broadcast, and I guess your first broadcast too, Lou, because you're here in, now. In <laughs> the yes. So Lou is going to be the new Craft Stash Live host. Oh, and <laughs> no, <laughs> Christina. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you too. Oh, miss you. <laughs> um, but today we're going to um, focus on Christina's beautiful landmark collection, which is brand new and it's stunning. It we is, love it. And it's going really well. It will fit any occasion um, and it's got special um, anniversaries in there and months. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very handy die set to have. Very good. Yes, and she has some beautiful demonstrations planned for us and there's giveaway prizes. We're giving away three prize bundles today and that's valued at over 315 pounds. So some very lucky people. Uh, but before we get any further, I need to check the broadcast, make sure everybody can hear us and see us and say hello. Say hello to Lou. You might recognize Lou from Create and Craft. Yes, so I've been doing that for quite a few years in the past. Um, I've actually been working with Craft Stash um, for about six or eight months now. So you will have seen me on videos and such, but we've done one live together, haven't we? Yes, it was a hand lettering special because yes. Lou is amazing at hand lettering. <laughs> Thank you. So really excited to have Lou on board. And let's say hello to some people on Facebook. There we are. Working. So we have yeah. yeah. So we have uh, Anne Cuts, Angharad, hello, Tracy, hello, Karen, Linda, um, Jillian, Jocelyn. So happy you can all tune in. Uh, and over to YouTube, I'm checking there. There we are. Hooray! Hello to Rena, Rebecca, Sarah Louise, Rose O'Connell, Mixed Up Craft, Sam Clayton of Mixed Up Craft. Hello, Sam. Tina Schmidt, so glad everybody can tune in for today. All right, so keep those comments coming. We'll tell you how to enter that giveaway. And let's take a look at the beautiful Landmark Collection, Christina. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> so we have- um, Let's move this out of the way. Yes, we have some beautiful cards that Christina has made okay, for us. So these are the particular pieces that are in the particular Landmark Collection. Yeah, so there's um, the the months, the months die set. Yeah, and the, the anniversaries in there as the well. The anniversary, so for all those special occasions and the spectacular swirl die set, which is, I think, my favorite because it's so nice and big. It I is love a big that one. Heart. So there's that one. And we have some gorgeous samples from Christina, which I'll show you in just a bit. And right now we have a very special offer going on, so you can get a free, <laughs> sorry Chubbs, <laughs> and we have Chubbs helping us in the background. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and this one is the, no sorry, not the months. That's the numbers. The, the numbers. With all the suffixes and the, the flowers that you can decorate the, the numbers and the card with. Yes, and then we have this one. That's, that's the months. That's the months and the anniversaries. And on the back of that pack, you've actually got what each anniversary each one. is. Right. Starting from the 10th and going Sorry, up to... Sorry, it has to, a little note. That's all right. Yeah. And going up to the platinum one, which is the 70th of anniversary. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. So it's it's great for like those, like anniversary cards. You want to make them very special. Special they ones, are very yes. special occasions. Yeah. Landmark occasions. So we have those. And then I was mentioning that there's a special offer going on right now. So if you spend over 30 pounds on card making magic, you can pick one of these ribbon die sets for free. So that's amazing. Let me show those to you. So you can get a free card making magic lacy ribbon die and it's worth $15.99. So you can pick one, this one or that one when you spend over 30 pounds on card making magic. Amazing! What a special little deal that is. It is. And there, there's some ribbons in the show as well that will go really well with the dies that you can thread in and out. And I wanted to show the um, cards that you made with the Landmark collection. So we'll start off with this one. This one's using the heart swirl. Yeah. Tell us about this one, Christina. That's quite it's a stunning. big die. Um, it's in two parts. So you can cut the plain background to create the card base 
and then you can use the filigree one to cut the pattern in your card at the top. You can either make it freestanding as that one is or you can add it to another card and decorate it with the flowers and any months that you want. And I've tried to show on that one that although they're months, the names May and June and April oh, yeah. are people's names oh, yeah. and July is Julie. So you can use them as I've done on that. Happy birthday, June. I like that. And also, um, like you said, the heart swirl is, it's five inches. So it's good for like larger, yes, it larger is. cards. Yes, so it's it not is. small. And this is really a really big die. And it looks beautiful when it's put onto a, a five by seven card. It's lovely. Um, Lou, do you do much card making? Because I know you're excellent at hand lettering. Yes, so I'm hand lettering on cards, but I also love die cutting. So these are beautiful. I'm really in love with that swirl. Mm -hmm. so Isn't like it that. great? Yeah, I love that. Need that. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. You need it. The entire collection is wonderful. So I'm really excited to see what Christina does in the demos. Also, I wanted to mention that the pink wasn't planned. <laughs> no, it wasn't <laughs> It just so works it out. Does. It just works out. It just works out really well. <laughs> All right. Oh, I wanted to show you some of the other ones with the with the numbers that you've made, Christina. Also matching our tops. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Look at that. That's stunning. It's beautiful. Isn't it? The flourish is actually behind that panel at the front, um, but I've stuck that much on top of it. You can't see it. Oh, that, that's this flourish? Yes. Oh, yeah. so, like border yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah, so she's Well, I, that's that what one. I've done. I've cut it twice and I've put them sort of upside down with each other oh, see, to create nice. the border mm -hmm. yeah that's gorgeous and then we have this one which is the um using the anniversary the happy anniversary yeah and that's the egg and through that that's trellis egg. work i've weaved with rib ribbon with <laughs> ribbon <laughs> <laughs> i've weaved ribbon in it <laughs> there's a peek at the egg which we will show you in just a bit because it's stunning and then this one I love those numbers. That's a good size. They are. Number. Let me see. They are three inches? Yeah, they're three inches. Three inches tall, those numbers. Yes, yeah. So that'll make a nice little like focal element onto your card. And that's using also the egg die, which we will show you in just a bit, which coordinates with the oval box. And there's another stunning one. So with the um, these, numbers. These flowers, yeah. yeah. The numbers and the flowers there to create that card. And I've used the oval box just to create the layers in it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then moving on There's to egg. the eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so cool because it allows you to create like a Fabergé yes, kind of um, style card. And that one is, um, is, it, is this one, right? Yes. Yeah. And I've just added that one to a stand because you can mm -hmm. display it really well on the stand. Um, you know, to stand on your mantelpiece or on top of your TV or yeah. wherever you want to put it. But it does it does make a nice display. And this is another one of Christina's um, die sets. So it's the easel stand die. And there's two two sizes available. I yes. Believe. So that makes your gorgeous egg. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, along with the extravagant egg sorry it's called extravagant egg die set we also have the oval box collection yes we do there to create is. the oval boxes which Lou, is there one back there I've oh yeah got, she's got them she's got them show this show them to us lou do you want to do oh no no up? show show us it's <laughs> absolutely stunning isn't it and what i noticed christina's done as well it's not just the box but oh it's gone there was a card it's inside. there oh it's <laughs> hiding there we go there's a card inside <laughs> the magic trick beautiful so you can make not just the box you can make what goes inside yes, as well I suppose can. with the depth of that as well it could be maybe a mini album or something yeah, if you want to do easily they're gorgeous mm -hmm. aren't they that's stunning this it's one it can. It's kind of, this just reminds me of a wedding beautiful, beautiful, that beautiful that one. white and that silver that is really elegant I think oval is quite an elegant shape as well isn't it really really beautiful there there's nothing inside this one is there no there's nothing <laughs> inside that one but if i can just show you this one i've used the same dies from the set to line oh. the inside of the box which makes it just that wee bit stronger mm, and we've lined the top and it's pretty when you open it too it's yes, like it an is. extra little yes it detail. is detail and there's one more here i'm going to show them that one there you go and this is another lovely box really a good size to add lots of chocolates in it Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> I love that. I always love that. Oh, and here's
here's a card because you used the um, extravagant egg to create this card as well. Sorry, this is from Anne Melvin. Sorry, yes. Christina. So Lovely. it's very elegant. It's just in black and white, but look how stunning that is. It's very dramatic, isn't it, in black and white? Yeah, it just really pops. Really pops and off these the page. two little pieces are the bits that she's used. The swirls. Um, along the, on the egg. There oh, we are. Yeah, these the two bottom. on the egg just to finish the top and the bottom off. Gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I wanted to tell everybody how to enter the giveaway because we have three um, prizes to give away and the three prizes are, it's gonna be three bundles and it's going to be the oval box, oval card and box set, the extravagant egg, you guys might wanna help me out here. <laughs> the number overlay, the swirl set and the, um, the months, the months dice set. So three bundles of those. And to enter that giveaway, there is a Facebook post where you, which you can find on the Craft Stash Facebook page. And then also we're gonna pick um, some winners, two winners randomly uh, during the broadcast. So to enter that, all you have to do is just leave a comment. Any comment will do, comment as many times as you'd like. And at the end, we will announce our three winners. Good luck to everyone. And now we're going to get crafty. Christina is going to show us. What are you going to show us first? I'm going to show you how to make the box, how to put the box okay. together. I'm going to get out of your way. Yes. Okay. Lou will we'll be back. We need, oh, we need fun. lots of room. Thanks, Lou. We need lots of room to for Christina. Are you going to do any, any die cutting? No. Christina? I've gone ahead and prepared because it's quite a long demo to explain how the box goes together. So I've gone ahead and prepared it. But here is, just in case Christina needs it, I brought it out. This is Christina's favorite die cutting machine. It's the Spellbinders A4 sized uh, platinum. And right now there is a special offer on it. It was $149.99 on Craft Stash, but now it's $134.99. So you get some great savings there. And also the A5 size platinum is also on offer. It was $109.99, but now it's $99.99. And Christina, will they need an A4 sized cutting machine, die cutting so, machine for your new collection? Um, well, see, I use that machine all the time. Yes. So that's the largest egg die, which would go through. Yes. It does so go through. The Gemini. Yeah, that'll go through the Gemini look. So it no, I don't through. think they will need the... Um, the only thing is for the oval, the oval box is this piece here, which assembles the sides. That one does go through a six inch wide die cutting machine, but you'll need the extended plates for it to go through, especially if you're using a scissor. Yeah, shot. or you'll you can those. slide your card down and take yes. it through again. Yes. There is a way around that. There's always a way, huh? There's always a way. <laughs> right, so we'll put these here now. So these are the dies, that's the egg. So I'll put this down at the bottom, Jeanette, because I don't really need this one just yet. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so put that down there. Now then, to make the box, it's a little bit different than the other boxes that are in my collections. Um, so you've got all these dies here, and to make the box, you're going to need these two sides as well. Okay, can you see them on there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So the box lid is the largest die and that goes with the smallest edge. The box base is the next die down and that goes with the largest edge. And then if you wanted to make a card to go into the box, you would need the third die down, which just happens to have a stitched edge on it. And that would make your card base. So we'll come to the card base shortly. So to make this now, we've cut, I've cut two, and I've used the other dies in the set to create the layers. So we've got this and this is the lid and I'll show you about the ribbon after. And that's going to need two of these smaller pieces. And then this one is going to be 
the box base and again I've used the other dies in the set to create the layers. Now I've cut two of these because I'm going to put one on the, the bottom of the box as well just to hide the workings or I'm going to line the box and these are the layers that will fit on the top. So this is where we need our glue, okay? So as long as you've got this, you've got the largest die, the smaller one, and you've got the small border with the big die and the big border with the smaller die. So we'll pop them on one side. Now, once you've got these cut, you're going to need to put some shape in them. So all you need to do is just run your finger down it and that will just put a little bit of curve into your box. And I like to just fold these back. Have we got a scoreboard in there? I we sure can. do, Christina. Okay. Christina's using the Hunky Dory Adorable Scoreboard. Okay. So I just like to make life easy. So we're going to put, we're going to put this on a scoreboard and we're going to find where that line is there and we're going to run it down all this serrated edge. And I'm going to do that with all four of the pieces. So we'll just put that on there. This is just to make life a little bit easier for yourself. Now also with the oval box collection, that coordinates with the extravagant egg die set. So you can create those cards that are very much like a Fabergé egg. Mm -hmm. So nice and elegant, intricate, and perfect in time for Easter. So we'll put that back there. Okay. So once you've got that scored, you're just going to fold these over. Sorry, Jeanette. Sorry, Christina. <laughs> just moving your hands. I need six foot long shot. arms. <laughs> right, so that's one. I'm going to fold this one over and I think this would be good if you're like batch making to just make a, yeah, a bunch at yeah. once just cut all your pieces out and put your boxes together as you need them and I, I love your box collections Christina because you get the dies to make the beautiful card but then you get the presentation box as well yes, and that do. makes it extra special it takes it from just being a plain card to like being a, a proper yeah. gift. And they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're boxes that will also be used for other gifts that you, without without the card. You can use them all year round. They're, they're, they're a really good um, thing to have. Okay, so I'm now going to put some curl in this. So I'm just going to run my fingers down it and put the, the curl in it. Christina, we have a question from a viewer. They're wondering what papers you've used. Like you pattern papers um this is a paper pack i've had for a long time but it's quite thick i would say this is about a two 250 maybe but i usually use a 300 gsm for cards and boxes Catherine benton says you make it look so easy christina <laughs> murphy says that no, she I'm, loves I'm, the cheerful colors i'm like the the duck that's serenely sailing on the lake <laughs> and then like <laughs> <mad underneath. laughs> okay so if you look at this now you've got you've got a little tab there and a longer tab here so you're going to glue these together so you want the little tab on one side and you're going to put that with the longer tab on the other side so that they are glued together like so and make sure that the top part is level okay and you're going to do that with both pieces so you're going to do the two small pieces together and the two bigger ones together <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> also if you um are just tuning in don't miss out on entering the giveaway we're going to give away 300 over 315 pounds worth of prizes, three chances to win. And all you have to do is leave a comment during the broadcast. Uh, comment as many times as you'd like, and it's open worldwide. So comment away. 
and we'll announce the winners at the end. Okay. So we've got one side glued together. I'm now going to glue the other side together. This is just the way I find it easier for me to make these boxes. You might find an easier way for yourself to do them. But I've now glued those together and I'm taking one of the bases that I've cut and I'm going to sit that. I'm going to make sure these are all bent up. And I'm going to sit that with the correct side outside and then I'm going to make sure that all those little tabs are underneath there and add my glue and that will glue those in there okay so let's just do this is this the big one or the small one Patricia it's Dillon small. says that she loves your demos Christina <gasps> thank you and Julie Lorraine Thomas says loving the box demonstration really good overhead view thank you Keep moving my hands further back, and when I do, Jeanette pushes me so that I, I can don't. Fall. I push you lovingly. She does. It's a loving push. <laughs> <coughs> um, Rebecca V says that Christina is incredibly talented. Ali Boo Creation says that she loves watching Christina. Yes. Thank you, and Christina. Tell us where you can, uh, where we can find you on your YouTube. You can find me on. Um, well, if you just put card making magic into YouTube, you'll find me. Um, but you, the channel is Christina1716 or Card Making Magic. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest. Uh, where else can you find me? Twitter. Ooh, you tweet Christina? I didn't know no, that. I don't. No, I'm just there. I'm on Instagram as well, but I don't, I don't know how that works either. Okay, but you're right. There. Yeah, but I'm there. Nice. So we've got the deep sides fastened together. We're going to make the base. So we're taking the card, we're putting it in there the right way, and we're just going to turn that into an oval. I'm keeping the joins at the top and the bottom. So I'm now going to push that into there, and that will be the base. So we're going to add some glue around the edges. Then I can get it out. Sue Pollock says, Christina always gives you so many dyes in her kits. <laughs> oh, Sue. That's true. Sue comes on my um, blog nearly every day. So yeah. thank you, Sue. Yeah, so this, the Oval Box Collection has 31 pieces. It's amazing. There's so many dyes in there. And then also I wanted to mention um, that you can get a free Card Making Magic Lacy Ribbon die worth $15.99 when you spend over 30 pounds on Card Making Magic. So you can pick up the Oval Box collection and then pick one of these, either this one, sorry, Christina, this one, okay. or this one. You can get that for free. Amazing, when you spend over 30 pounds on Card Making Magic. Okay, so there's the box base. Now, the reason I've put two pieces is because I don't like all these showing. So what I do is I add glue to this and I glue that on the bottom. And that way there's nothing showing. It's a nice tidy box. And it's a little bit stronger than if you... I'm just doing it again. She's pushing me again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lou, you have to remember to push. <laughs> Lovingly push. <laughs> do you know when, when Griff used to do my videos oh, for yeah. me? Mm -hmm. and, and I'd get my head in the way like this. Yeah. He'd pull me hair. <laughs> oh. There we go. So that's the nice base done. And I've just pulled that out. Uh, Karen Herrera says that she saw Sam Clayton make a tissue box with these dies and it was beautiful. So yeah, Sam Clayton of Mixed Up Craft, you can head to her YouTube channel to see how she used um, the oval box collection. Lovely. Amazing. So now to make it even stronger, I'm going to line it. So I'm going to put that one in the bottom. And then we'll add a nice blending colour next. Just need to get that straight. <coughs> also, we have an announcement. 
Um, as you know, we have uh, the Paper Craft Society boxes. So this one, the current one that I think you can still get is from Ruth Mackie McCartan, and it has some gorgeous, we've done a full reveal on the Craft Stash YouTube channel, so you can see everything that's inside. You can sign up at craftstash.co.uk forward slash papercraft society. But our next featured designer is going to be Christina. <laughs> Yay, so Christina was our first featured designer for the Paper Craft Society subscription box, and now she's back. You're back, Christina. I'm like a bad penny. <laughs> I Let's open it up. I'll show you the inside really quick. We will be sharing a full reveal of what's inside shortly. But that is a stunning box. Love that. And then if you still want to sign up for Ruth Mackie McCartan's box, which is more like a mass, good for masculine makes, um, you can head to craftstash.co.uk forward slash paper craft society. Right, so before I go ahead and put this one together, I'm just adding in these little borders. So this is a die that's in the set and I've cut it four times. And I'm just going to glue it around the edges. Now it would probably have been better to glue it before I curled it, but I forgot. So it's curled. <laughs> He's going to be going away and saying, that woman's an idiot. <laughs> what? No, I've never, never seen that. <laughs> She's mad as a hatter. Yeah. Tracy Martindale says that you could use a smaller oval to cut a window into it as well. You certainly well. could, and the dies Great are idea. in the set. Great idea. And you've also got this in the set, Tracy. There. So you could actually put that as a pattern Ooh, like a little in trellis. The, the lid, in the top mm -hmm. of your lid. And that would make it even more special. Now we just have to glue these on and they're not sticking. Oh, they're coming back off on my fingers. Okay. Also, um, the occasions, sorry, the landmark collection with the occasions and the months really coordinate well with the oval box as well so here are those once more so you get the months of the year and then also the anniversaries right below and birthdays yeah happy birthday happy anniversary yeah. and then all the different anniversaries from 10 years up to 70 and it does tell you on the back what each one is like gold pearl coral there yeah, so uh, 10 is a uh, oh gosh, I'm gonna say aluminium. Aluminium, aluminium, you call it. Aluminium, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. I don't, yeah. what am I saying? Oh, um, I can't even say it, my tongue doesn't curl that way. Alu uh, aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium. Okay, there we go. 15 is crystal, 20 china, 25 silver, 30 pearl, 35 coral, 40 ruby. 45 sapphire. Ruby, your dog's name. Just yep, there. I can send her a birthday card. Happy <laughs> birthday, Ruby. <laughs> 50 is gold, 55 is emerald, 60 is diamond, 70 is platinum. Right, let's just hope they stick on. So we're going to make sure that these are all folded up. Oh, it's coming off again. There's no sticky in me glue. Is it your hands? Do you have lotion on? Uh, yes, I do actually, yeah. Okay, so we'll just fold all them back. Now then, we're going to take the one that is the bottom of the, the top, if you understand my meaning. Okay, we're going to keep the joins at the bottom. Where is it? There it is. And we're going to push this into the oval shape and again we're going to glue these tabs down so that they are secure in that lid in place so we'll just add some glue on the little tabs Christina, I'm going to move your oh, hands again. Gosh, <laughs> okay, so we'll put that in there. 
Make sure it sticks in place. Make sure all the little tabs are underneath. Also, again, I wanted to mention the amazing offer on uh, Christina's favorite die cutting machine, which is the Spellbinder Platinum. Platinum. So that's the A4 sized uh, die cutting machine. So that was $149.99. You can get that for $134.99 at Craft Stash, which is an incredible, incredible deal. Okay. Now, just to make this one a little bit special, I've used ribbon and I've glued it with little pleats in it around the edge. So that now will glue on the top and it will hide all the workings that are there on the back. And did you use hot glue for just I, yeah, the ribbon? Yeah, yeah, you know me and hot glue. That's great, so it just adds a little bit of texture, an extra little Just a little bit touch. extra, yeah. So Do you remember how much ribbon you used, like the length of it? I think it was a, a, a yard, a metre. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So now that's that in place and now we can add these other layers oh, I've done that on the wrong side we can add these other layers to the top so we can add that on there make sure that the ovals marry up we'll add this contrast in colour on there now you can add a bow on there, you can add um, diamante on there, you can put flowers on, you can carry on layering it up with more ovals if you wanted to. You can make the extravagant egg and add that as well. You can, you can make a card this that goes the, with it. This is the card with the extravagant egg, so, okay. so you can make the extravagant egg and then just top it. So what we're going to do Beautiful. is we're going to add some flowers. Oh, I've run out of wood. Do you need a glue stick? No. You got one? I've got one. I took it out because I couldn't mm. put it in the box and just forgot that I put it in there. So now we can add these flowers to the top. Are you going to add glitter to those flowers, Christina? I have brought some glitter. Yes. <laughs> I know you, you like, like to do me that. to add some glitter? You do like them? to do that. Add a little bit of sparkle. I've even brought some leaves to add to it. And it's not too late to enter the giveaway to win one of the three uh, prize bundles up for grabs. So you're going to get the complete landmark occasion collection and also the oval box collection. So all the dies that we've been showing today. Um, and all you have to do to enter is leave a comment during the live broadcast. Sorry, I was chuckling at Chubbs, who's trying to stifle a cop. And that's what I've been doing, too, because we're both poorly. <laughs> go for it, Chubbs. Go for it. Go on. That's it. That's it. Sounds like an old pit, man. <laughs> oh, Sorry, you so... as well now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's our box. There's our lid. Beautiful. And there it is, all nicely decorated. You can add as many flowers in there as you want. Or as many leaves in there as you want. You can do whatever you want. And you can also add the numbers if you're giving us you the can. Money. You can add those numbers on there. They're nice and large. They're three inches tall. Yeah, or the anniversary you could mm -hmm. add on there. I mean, it is a coral colour, isn't it? So you could put happy yes. coral anniversary. Now, this uh, die set is an incredible uh, value. It's only $26.99 and you're getting 31 pieces. That's amazing. It is. It's, it's good value That's for money. You do get a lot of dyes in there. And there's lots of little pieces in there. That is sent with love. But there's lots of little pieces in there. The butterfly, the flowers, that you can decorate it even more mm -hmm. if, you know, if that's what you wanted to do. You can do anything you want to it. It's your box. And for the next demo, what are you going to be showing us, Christina? I'm going to make the card that goes in the box. Oh, nice. Okay. Do you want me to do that right now? Are you? Yeah, let's um, switch it over. So <clears throat> I'm going to step out for this demo and hand it over to the wonderful Lou Collins, who will be the new Craft Stash Live host. Take it away, Lou. Take it away. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have comments? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Set you up to fail there, won't you? <laughs> I'm 
like, Mwah. just let me guess. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's beautiful. I've been looking from a distance. It looks absolutely stunning, but it's even nicer close up. That's beautiful. Now, I did have some blue somewhere, but... You've got, got your hot glitter. blue and... Oh, some glitter. glitter. I was going to say, you've got plenty of blue. It's gone. It's no glitter. I've done the usual thing. It's walked. This is some glitter, is it? No, that's embossing powder. I've brought some silver with me. Just to Can we imagine what it will look like with glitter on instead? <laughs> She's lost a sparkle. I've lost my sparkle. Oh, never mind. There Sparkling we go. As it is. That is absolutely stunning. So these lids, uh, that just comes off beautifully, doesn't it? it? Does. They fit perfectly. That's lovely. I really like that. Really good. So you're going to make a card that yes, coordinates I'm going to make inside. A card that goes in the box. Beautiful. So I we'll put these back on this this okay. sheet, and then we don't pop that one. Bend them all now, then. Them. So we've used the two largest ones to make the lid and the box base. So now I'm going to the third one down, which is the stitched mat, and I'm going to cut that for my card. Perfect. So I've used a card that matches my box and I've cut it twice. I'll move my hands forward. I love the the top there. Yeah, I've made a little <laughs> score line along the back so that the card will now stand in tenfold, which is the way I like to, to do mine. And then for this, we're going to add some layers. Lovely. So looking at that when you stood it up, it actually stood on its own. It didn't rock too much. I guess that's the idea with that pattern, that sort of little scallop yeah, around the edge. Yeah, with that little scallop at the edge, it just sort of gives it a bit of stability. Perfect. But there's one that I've done, and I think it might be the blue one that we've got in the box. Because it was just a straight edge. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that one. Um, is it this one? I've actually cut a little bit off oh, the back. I see just to make it straight along the back and oh, that will help so it you just to snip that with your scissors or your trimmer. yeah lovely so so we could make these you're doing sort of a, a landscape card yes you could make them portraits yeah. as well they look beautiful so these all these eyes are included so yes, the smaller they're all in it. ones yeah. as well and this has got a lovely patterned edge to it you and can just fun. see it there on the like little flower petals aren't yeah, they? yeah it's beautiful and it matches this piece as well oh so that's a, is that a border that's a little border that's Beautiful. in the set yeah perfect okay so now we can <coughs> add some flowers to this one so let's get some more so um on, we're on facebook at the moment so uh, tracy tracy martin dallas said christina all your dyes are so versatile which we've just been talking about how you can use them for so many different occasions um, and it's it, Dagos is beautiful, Christina. Yeah, and the beauty of them is is that they'll all play nicely with others in the other sets. So you know you can create your cards as elaborate as you want. Absolutely. So I was looking at this and thinking, okay, so if I've got this set to create the boxes with, fantastic. But if I just want to make a card, you're proving you here. You can do that. You can do that. It yeah. doesn't have to be boxes every time. No. Nope. So really, yeah, versatile is the perfect word, isn't it? And there are some lovely shaped boxes now that you can make with the the dies in in my collection um which mm -hmm. is growing daily it, yeah it really is daily isn't yeah. it <laughs> so quickly all these new collections but then everybody loves them we've seen that haven't we they are beautiful have you run out of blue again yeah i've got to see <laughs> look at that it's not going oh, it through happens. it's not going it's through blue. because yeah because i've put the wrong and I put the end that I'd already melted in, so it We've all done through. it before. Yep. So uh, Gillian said would make a lovely box for chocolates. Oh, we like that idea. Chocolates <laughs> and a bottle of red wine. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> and no, I'm not a lush. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. So so many people are saying um, they're going to miss Jeanette, of course. Everyone's going to miss Jeanette and thank you for everyone who's saying Go welcome on. to me. I'll do, I'll do another welcome on another video. This is Jeanette's day and Christina's <laughs> product day. Carry on and you'll have <laughs> Jeanette in tears. Yeah, please. Can we keep going? Shall we see if we can get there by the end of the hour? <laughs> She's saying she doesn't, she doesn't cry too much, but I think we can crack her. <laughs> I would say it'd be nice. It wouldn't be nice with Poor Jeanette. Jeanette. We're going to miss her. Nice to see her we, we really will miss her. I may be needing to call her back. How? <laughs> have we got any scissors anyway? Oh, I've got some. Oh, speak of it. Yeah, 
Yes, you've got some. Now I always make a mess of Jeanette's floor. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll get it to clear up on the last day. <laughs> get, get the hoover out. <laughs> the vacuum out. And I wish I could find that glitter because it would make all the difference to these flowers. Did you definitely bring it in with you? Yes, I definitely brought it in with me. It's just walked somewhere. Okay. So there we've got a nice little card that will fit inside the box. And you can cut your oh, anniversary that. sentiment. You can, you know, put a happy birthday on it. You can do whatever you want. Or you can just hand cut a sentiment. It's entirely up to you. So we'll just cut one of these. Perfect. And don't forget, if you're loving the look of this collection, there is a chance to win or three sets. A chance to win three sets Brilliant. today. So um, check on Craft Stash for all the details for that. But I think we'll be picking winners towards the end. So there won't be long left to enter. But it's really exciting. I mean, it's a huge bundle. Beautiful, beautiful dies. Really new. So they, these came out right at the beginning of this month, didn't they? So they, they the are. second of December, uh, second of January, they will oh, yeah. now. <laughs> I know. So they've not been out very long at all. So no. you'll be one of the first people to have them. So yes, they are um, brand new. Stunning. So these are your own papers. So I'm. No, these are some that I've had in my. Sorry. Yes, I mean they just some from your stash at oh, home. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I, I imagine you can use any pattern paper with these. You, just you need can to... use anything you want. You can create your own patterns with the the dies or the, you know, this would make a beautiful stencil Trellis, for it? your background. So there's lots you can do with it. Um, once you get the dies home, you just beautiful. play. Yeah, and just we were talking play. about apertures as well. So somebody commented about uh, creating an aperture in yes. the top of the box. So you can make an aperture in a card. To yeah, you can because you've got any number of, of dies there. You know, you, you create your um, your card base with that one, mm -hmm. and you can use that as an aperture. Perfect. You can use the fancy one as oh, an aperture. the fancy one. You can use different ones to make different sized frames. Oh, so I was going to say, so you can create a frame from that around an aperture. Yeah. You can do anything you want oh, with wow, it. Oh, wow, look at that. So versatility, perfect. Um, somebody's written here, uh, Babs. This is fascinating. I love card making. This is a step beyond. That's exactly what it is. But you've made it all so easy for us. It is easy. It's The difficult part is choosing what colours you want because the dyes will do all the work for you. I always put videos on YouTube to show people how to use them to get the best out of them. Um, so... Fantastic. The rest of it then is just up to you. You know, you make whatever you want to make. Fantastic. Amazing. And embellish it anywhere you want. Stick anything on it. Stick anything on I it. I stick all sorts on mine. <laughs> and you keep yours on a magnetic mat as well. Yes, I do. And then they just fit inside the box and you that know way. where they are then and they're safe whenever you need them. Perfect. So before we call Jeanette back in, we'll just have a quick look again at this collection so we've got the oval box collection here so this is the one that you've mainly been working with yes so you can see we've got the sides of the box we've got the all the matting and layering the lids the bases and all of these extras so I'm imagining this is your box but then your cards are going to be decorated yes and not just for birthdays or floral events so weddings anything anything you want <coughs> anniversaries birthdays Beautiful. christenings Beautiful. weddings anything the only thing you need to remember is the two two dies the two largest dies the really large one goes with the small border mm -hmm. and the next one down goes with the large border Perfect. but I'm going to do a video and put that on my blog and it'll be on YouTube and in case people can't remember what I've said it will be in that video and it will tell you exactly oh, how to make this box perfect lovely so we've then got the oval box collection as well this is the extravagant egg die yes. so this one I mean absolutely stunning again you've got trellis you've got flourishes in there all of your accents your embellishments yes and your matting and layering dies and such there so. and you can cut this from one colour and cut these from another colour and piece these back oh they fit inside in, yes they ah, do ah perfect Perfect. That is beautiful. And Fabergé eggs are just so, yeah, so are. elegant and extravagant. Now this one I adore. So this is part of the Landmark collection. That's, Just have a look at the size flourish. of this die. Oh, I can't. It's have you got one? <laughs> Just put it the away already. The size <laughs> of this die is amazing. Oh, wow. Look at that for a flourish. So is that five inches, six inches? 
I think it'll fit on a five by seven card oh, easily. Perfect. perfect. Beautiful. That is Love amazing. It. So you could also, I suppose, snip into that as well. You if can. You wanted to. Yeah, if you, you can reduce the size for a smaller card. You could find the flourishes and cut them off. You can make a square out of it. And I think this was the card, wasn't it? This was the card yes. that you used. Yeah. And it's there actually it this beautiful border. So it looks like it's one large lacy panel. Yes, it is. But there. I just cut that twice and added that Gorgeous. to the card. Wonderful. That is such a useful flourish die and it's a beautiful size. And that's a card you've made with that half with the there. Heart. My auntie's called June, so if I can just borrow this card, <laughs> it'll that be that really part. handy in a few months' for a time. Bit, no. And that this is really, really helpful. So we have the numbers, uh, the, I always forget what these are called. Suffixes. Suffixes. Blah, 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 blah. That's the one. <laughs> so, and the florals as well are stunning on there. And lastly, this collection, still the landmark collection or landmark occasions, we have all the months of the year. Really, really handy. Happy anniversary and birthday there. And then, of course, yes. your um, material that it represents. So, that is absolutely beautiful. So, don't forget if you order on craftstash.co.uk today, or at the moment, if you order £30 worth of your card making magic products, you are going to have a choice of one of these beautiful lacy ribbon dies. So, they are stunning. And you were saying we've got some dyes, some ribbon as well that we'll thread through there. Yes. They are beautiful. Is this a continuous yes, order? Yes, it as is. Well? Yes. Perfect. It doesn't cut out of the card completely. I think we can show you. Um, it will lead, it will be fastened on the edges with oh, this. Oh, I see. So you can move it down. Mm -hmm. Ma marry the pattern up again, move it down, and you can make that as long as you so want. So it could be um, a card edge just on the edge without actually cutting away, yeah. cutting it out. And you've got lots of different borders inside oh, it. Oh, wow. If you've not got um, fabric ribbons, you can cut paper ribbons. Of course. And use these Would, and um, thread these through quilt, Something like quilling strips thread through Yeah, there, probably, okay. yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. There we go. So that's well worth going So you've for got there. the four dies. Oh, you've got five dies in there that will give oh. you different <laughs> edges. And a complete ribbon. Uh, there's seven pieces in this one, by the looks of it as well. Seven inches, yeah, they're fabulous. Beautiful. Okay, brilliant. So I think it's time for us to, probably for the last time, call Jeanette back in. She's not going to cry, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I think I'd better stand up as well, otherwise I'll be the only I'm one sitting crying. there. My, my, eyes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my yeah. eye is sweating. Your eye is sweating. <laughs> Your eye is sweating. Oh, thank you. I don't know where to stand. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Right, well, first of all, <laughs> we have to crown you because you've been the, 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 the queen. Of <laughs> That's hilarious. And there's Thank some you. flowers for you, Jeanette. Thank so you. we're really going to miss you. I know. But you're not the queen anymore. Who is? <laughs> so we'll pinch your crown and we'll put it on Yay! I'm so glad. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. Thank you. We have to announce our winners. It's not beautiful. I have to announce our winners. You do. Let's see if we have our winners. Hmm. Got an inflatable go. crown. <laughs> right. Now, if you're a winner, all you have to do is send us a private Facebook message on the Craft Stash Facebook page so that we can get mailing information and your prizes sent out to you. Um, but before I announce the winners, I wanted to do a shameless plug <laughs> because I don't want to lose touch with everybody who has tuned in since the very beginning, since we started this two years ago. Um, and so I don't want to lose touch with you. So you can follow me on YouTube at Jeanette Lane. So you can just search that lane, it'll pop up. I'm going to be doing a live broadcast tomorrow from my crafty corner, my little flat. So if you want to join me at 10 a.m., I'll be there. I don't know what, what, what I'm going to do, but <laughs> we'll do something crafty. So join, join me there. And let's announce our winners. First winner is Rebecca V. Congratulations. Denise Parker. Woo! Congratulations, thanks. And uh, Linda Daffy. Hey. Well Congratulations. Amazing. Lovely. Congratulations to the winners. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, we are good. All right, so we are signing off. Thank you again mm -hmm. so much for all your kindness throughout these past two years. Christina, check out her collection. <laughs> and stay tuned for the wonderful Lou Collins. Woo! New Craft Stash Live host. We'll see you guys. Bye.